Hey, young people. I want to talk about this executive uh, letter opener. Uh, this is uh, some OSB. I don't know the size. Hell, uh, somebody's going to be like, what size was it? How thick was it? Hell, I don't know. Read it. I don't know what it is. It's a piece of OSB I had laying around. I laid it up there, and I hammered a damn letter opener through it. So uh, that's the letter opener. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, giveaway on these. And I don't know how, so um, stay tuned. This will just be the, the, the letter opener deal. Uh, and these executive letter openers, I mean, a lot of people poo-poo them, say they're plastic and they're no good. Let me tell you something, man. I mean, they sell for nine bucks on uh, on uh, Amazon or eBay. You might find there's one. I found one for five bucks. But it didn't say the executive, so I'm not sure if it's a knockoff. Um, I know these are, are, are pretty good, and uh, when you get them, they're pretty sharp. They'll cut. Uh, they've got a little thumb piece here. If you want to hold it like this for an upward stabbing motion, if you want to grab it here and do a downward, a backhand, a slash across the neck, etc. I mean, these are great little, um, I call them a letter opener, because if I give these away and send them out some freaking crybaby liberal will be he's giving away knives it's weapons he's straight what it's a letter opener people all right it's for letters here i gotta do this for for the liberals they'll be like what's a letter opener we've never got a letter we only send email people used to send letters like this and you'd seal it up and then people would use these so they wouldn't cut their fingers against paper cuts you just slide it in there and you rip your little letter open over, and then it, it will open your letter for you. Okay? For you liberals who's never opened a letter before. And then you open your little letter, and you find your free government check, and your free government stuff about how they're getting new rules and new protections, and all kind of good government free stuff in these. Uh, so anyway, that's my disclaimer that I'm giving away these executive letter openers, but... If you were to use these for not their intended purposes, which I'm not promoting or uh, encouraging in any way uh, against anybody or any particular group. However, uh, this, if you notice on my Yawara stick and my Yawara baton, I talked about different strikes. You can do the rake, come right down the center of the chest and just rake. Well, I can do this with the front. I can do it with the back if I want to just jam you there. I mean, I, I really wouldn't probably use in the back of this because the front's pretty sharp and it's pointed. So if you had to use this for self-defense, uh, you know, the, the, the downward thrust down to the clavicle area would be good targets across the neck, come in across here, uh, stabbing in the neck, anywhere in the temple, ear, neck, slashing area to a face will get somebody off you and give you time to either get away or uh, maybe put them down. And Again, don't underestimate these because they're plastic. People go, oh, they'll break the... Look, I jammed, I tried to jam that one in the board as hard as I could coming down, and I end up breaking the tip because my wrist, it wasn't a straight, and it twisted, and it just snapped because I didn't get my force straight. But when I took the hammer and I hammered it through there, it went through there like butter. Uh, no problem. So this is going to go through something pretty easy. I put a jug up there. I haven't hit a jug. I don't know what it's going to do to the jug. I put some water in it. Uh, it's about head height. So we'll uh, see what it does when I hit it. And again, if I was going to be striking this, if you look at the Yawara strikes, you're going to tell that the same strikes are for here. I'm going here, face, backhand, neck, neck area, back and forth slashing downward motions. Uh, if I have to come from behind, I can come back if they're coming in behind me. I can slash across with a punch. I can jab this way. So the same maneuvers, if I want to hold it this way, I can come up in the throat and the neck area. Okay, so I mean, it's got a lot. It, I'm pretty sure it's going to go through this. I mean, this is pretty solid. I mean, this thing, people are like, well, that's just a little plastic. This is pretty solid with water. Uh, damn, I cut my damn head. No, I didn't. <laughs> so anyway, if I wanted to jab it or strike it, I can come up, hit it there, come down, slash it, do some quick slashing maneuvers. It's going to go through skin pretty easy if it goes through that. 
it's going to go through skin pretty easy. And again, just like you never fire one shot, you're never going to make one slash and hope the guy stops. If a guy or a person or attacker or peaceful Muslim puts you in a position that you have to use force, you need, you need to use dominant force. You need to be very, you know, it can't be, oh, stop, let me poke him a little bit. Let me co poke him in the pinky finger and then he'll stop and see if that works. You'll be dead. So if you have to attack and you have to go in, it has to be aggressive and slashing and multiple strikes as fast as you can to do as much damage and maybe take out an artery. So, uh, like I said, I ordered these. I'm going to give them away, but you got to pay for shipping, man. I did a giveaway on this, uh, on my horse channel for uh, some scarves. And man, by the time I bought the envelope, because it's a package, it's got to be in a package, it won't fit an envelope. And the minimum for a package, I think, is 270 or 290 And then some guy from Russia won one of my things. I had to send it to him in, I don't remember, Ukraine, Korea, somewhere. And it cost me like 30 bucks to send a thing. I was like, holy shit. So shipping is what kills me because of government. So I'm going to have to make these limited to the U.S. only. Because letter openers I know are okay in the U.S. I'm sorry for my U.K., British <laughs> supporters and viewers. If you really want one in the UK and you think it'll get through customs, then send me a letter and maybe we'll try it. Uh, it says letter opener on it, and it comes from riflestock.com, and the phone number, they call it a, a tool, 1-800-972-6390. And I think I bought a hundred of them for 240 bucks. So because I bought 100, they end up costing me 250 a piece or whatever. So, but shipping's gonna end up being like five bucks a piece. So you gotta pay for your shipping. So I'm gonna be on TV. Order one and we'll throw another one in free. Separate shipping and handling, 1995. Look, look. Uh, put, put five bucks in an envelope. And that's how I'm gonna give them away. Once you're decided as a winner, you're gonna have to send me five bucks in an envelope. When I get it, it's gonna have a self-addressed uh, either a sticker or your name written down. I'd rather a sticker if you got a return sticker, man, because then I can just stick it on the package and I ain't got to worry about writing down 50 to 100 freaking names on the addresses. Uh, and then uh, we'll do a giveaway. Now, I'll take it from you viewers on how you think you ought to give it away. I've got some longtime loyal viewers that have probably commented on every video, and I read just about every comment on every video, so I know who's commenting. So those guys are going to get one. Uh, so if you've been, a, even even a couple guys who are kind of dicks and call me a cop hater and blah, blah, they still kind of watch, they're going to get one too. If you've been on my channel for a long time and been commenting and, and active and productive and stating your opinion, either against me or for me, it doesn't matter, uh, you're going to end up getting one. But i got to figure out a way on how to whittle it down a little bit because, you know, I'm going to give a few away to my buddy, et cetera. But, you know, if I end up giving away 75 or so, that's a lot of addresses i got to write. And uh, the shipping, again, i got to go buy these envelopes at the freaking post office, and the envelopes to send at the smallest package is like, I don't know, a buck ninety. I was like, are you shitting me for a piece of... So I had to buy that, then you pay two seventy for the shipping, and then, because these, I'm just going to put a piece of duct tape over it, so hopefully it won't leave duct tape mess on it when I get it. But I'm just going to put it over the tip so it doesn't cut through the envelope. Because you know the post office, we got to hire all those quota hires and uh, mandatory hires that are freaking unethical and you can't fire them no matter what they do so they steal shit all the time. I can't ima I can't even tell you the number of packages I get that are open, shit's missing, punctured holes, bags are torn. I mean I can't even get in a damn bag without a knife and somehow the post office is torn and shit's missing out of it. I mean it, it's just ridiculous. So I mean if they fill this knife in there they're probably going to try and steal it uh, so hopefully you'll get it if I send it but if you send me, if you're a winner and you send me the money, I'm going to ship it. Uh, I'm not going to do tracking. I'm not going to do insurance. It's, you know, hey, it's five bucks for you. It's a couple bucks for me and a little bit of time. And if it gets lost, sorry, you know, write me back and we'll see what we can work out. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is this is what the bucket did. Not not much. It just put a little white stuff on it. Um, and again, like I said, these are good for places with moisture. Shower, bathroom, uh, buy a sink in your garage. Somewhere where there's a lot of moisture to where you don't have to worry about rust. These things aren't going to rust. They're always going to be there. They're not going to deteriorate. I mean, they're pretty damn good little. It's a, it's a great idea. 
a soft plastic. Now people are taping them to their legs and inside their boots and they're walking through security. There's, there's testimony, there's things out on the internet right now where people have been through security and carried them on a plane. They feel comfortable on a plane. They put them in the side of their backpack and uh, they've sewn in a little thing and it's sitting in there. Hey, it's a letter opener. If you get caught with it, I'm not bringing a knife on a plane. It's a letter opener and, you know, wherever I'm going, I may need to open a letter. Don't ever admit that it's a knife for self-defense. Don't tell them you got it free from me on my video where I tell you it's a letter opener and try to show them that video of me opening a letter because it probably won't work. Anyway, so uh, executive knife, they used to be called the CIA letter opener. This is the executive letter opener 2. Oh, I forgot the 2. Should I need to charge more? Ooh, it's the 2. It's the Gen 2. <laughs> All right, so that's the executive letter opener. Uh, we'll figure out how we're going to give those away. And uh, poor little water bucket. That was, oh, somebody's going to be like, he's a racist. It, it, he's a racist. He's picking on that thing because it's white. And the knife, it's black. The knife's black. The knife's are racist. Freaking liberals. All right, we'll end that there.